Welcome to the Full Moon Fanatic Reviews. Today is going to be a little different. I'm not actually going to have a review because I'm moving in a little bit. As you can see, no movies behind me anymore. I have those all packed away. But, you know, in the meantime, since I've been going through a lot of my stuff, getting ready to move, I found a few of my props from Full Moon or Empire Picture movies that I wanted to share along with you. So today is going to be just showing off some props. And there probably won't be another review for another week or two because, you know, I'm going to be busy moving and I don't really want to have a review just, you know, crap one out, you know, just real fast just to get a review out. I want to take my time with it. So in the meantime, enjoy. Okay, let's see what we have here first. We have the Ghoulies head from 1985. The head's made out of a foam rubber, and as you can see, it's kind of flexible. You could squeeze it. Pretty detailed. On the back, it's signed by John Carl Beekler. There's some kind of a hole. Not sure what that's for. Maybe whenever they had the animatronics inside, the wire went through there. Up next, we have a prop from Ginger Dead Man 2, the evil gnome that was one of the tiny terrors that killed the ginger dead man at the end. Uh, as you can see, the head's still pretty messy and bloody from the ending where it got shot off and fell into the pool of blood. Even now it's still sticky and nasty on the hands. One thing I notice is the hat is missing. Don't know why the person would want to keep the hat and not, you know, the entire head. Who knows? And then at the bottom, there's some little nasty spinal strings that are still attached. Looks like a bunch of rotten ramen noodles to me. The final prop is also from Ginger Dead Man 2. This one is like a little two-parter. First up, we have the Ginger Dead Man's arms and hands. With these... They still have the little rods attached to them. When you pull on the strings, it actually makes the hand move up and down. On the other arm, it actually has the blood tube still where, I guess, whenever he held a knife and he cut into someone, the blood would be pumped in through that tube and would spray out. The second part is the Ginger Dead Man's lower torso. As you can see, the rods are still attached through the legs. Whenever you move the rods back and forth, the legs move back and forth as well. There's rings that are attached to the rods, and whenever you pull on the rings, it makes the joints in the legs move up and down along with it to give it a more realistic movement. So that's all the props that I have for now. I hope you enjoyed the little video I made, and I'll be seeing you in about two weeks with a new review.